And welcome to Forge by Geeks. This is a special stream just because we happen to have the day off today after Thanksgiving. Uh, one of the things we've been <laughs> one of the things we've been talking about doing is trying to bring additional games into our weekly stream sessions and trying to have something more repeat like we do with Kingdom Death Monster. So what we're doing today is we're starting Pathfinder Adventure card game, Mummy's Mask. It's the brand new, it's their fourth set, so it's the brand new base set for the Pathfinder Adventure card game. And they only have out right now basically the base set, and I think Scenario 2 is coming out next week, or Monday or something, so pretty soon. So what we're going to be doing is we're starting... Uh, oh, right way, too. <laughs> um, so we're starting uh, this today. We're going to play two sessions today. Then Saturday, we're going to play one session after our Kingdom Death Monster stream. Start, and then start basically from then on, every week right after our Kingdom Death Monster stream, we're going to do one session of this. And that'll go on until more or less we complete with this game. So this will be our, our second recurring game that we've been doing on Twitch. And then starting next week, Friday, we'll be playing Seafall every two weeks. So we will have three recurring games, plus occasionally maybe something else that we record, probably not stream, but record and put up on our YouTube channel. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. Um, hopefully it's uh, something fun. Oh, hey, Charles is on. Oh, hey, Charles Fox. Thank you. Um, so yeah, uh, for Pathfinder, though, one interesting thing is my business partner, Rico from Forge by Geeks, he will be joining us live on stream for every session of this. Occasionally, we might have a fourth player join us, but probably not often. Um, so I think we're generally good to go. Yes, we got in onto the Kickstarter. We're at Satan's Lantern. Yeah, we did the 1666. <laughs> and we're working, actually, we're talking with a couple of guys right now about taking the new minis we get from it. Oh, a cat. Because we're terrible at assembly, so we're thinking of getting them professionally assembled and then professionally painted. Yes, yeah, so hopefully they'll look really nice and we can start having some really awesome looking minis. Also, for the Survivor minis, the guy that I'm mainly looking at right now has experience with magnetizing. So he drills little holes in all the arms and stuff and puts little magnets in them so that what we can do is as we get new gear uh, for our characters, we can actually update the minis. So they are carrying around the new weapons, armor, and all that. Sweet. So they end up looking really cool and they actually look like whatever they're wearing. Yeah, we actually... <laughs> We actually uh, uh, started at seven seven seven, but we um, but then we went to the Satan's Lantern. Yeah, and then he said you wanted seven seven, but you had to settle for nine twenty seven. Yeah, because the oh, seven yeah. seven seven they ran out of them. Oh, yeah. okay. And That's it cost seven hundred and seventy seven dollars. Well, I thought they you said you had to settle for a higher price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you had no choice. If you wanted basically the guaranteed all expansions for Kingdom Death Monster, you could either get the 777 level, which gave you just the $50 upgrade pack, which upgrade the base set, to the 1.5. Plus, plus the new gamblers thing. <coughs> plus the hero, first hero expansion. Yeah, plus all the expansions. Or you could get the 927, which gave you a full boxed copy of the new 1.5, yep. not just upgrade pack. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. So he ended up with the full box copy. We actually went in at a... Just resell it. A hundred and at a thousand six hundred and sixty six plus fifty dollars. Yeah, for our current set. Because we wanted to have <laughs> an upgrade pack for our current set, you know. So if any of the cards that we wanted to use were changed, that we could have them updated properly. Okay, well, we should probably actually get going with Pathfinder. Yeah. So um, what we're looking. Yeah, what we're looking at with Pathfinder is we've set up the very first mission already, as you can see. Uh, when we switch to mission two tonight, we'll have to set that up quick, mm -hmm. uh, or however long it takes. <laughs> um, yeah, we're hoping to do two sessions, let's put it that way. We may end up only doing one tonight based on timing and how long this takes, but we've got this set up. For those familiar with Pathfinder Adventure card game, like the first version, which is all we had previously really played, we played a little we bit of second. We played Skull and Chuck. Only a couple games, though. But uh, either way, uh, this has a lot of differences. So, for example, the base blessings, we don't get really that advantage of, uh, what is it, uh, uh, being able to activate whatever the top of the blessings deck is. And there's a lot of other stuff. So we might go a little bit slower, and we'll try to verbalize a bit of, like, the cards we're playing, what their effect is. And here, we have a dice rolling bin. And we all have dice that are visible on camera, with the exception, of course, of the wonderful D4s, which... Yeah, you might be able to read it occasionally, 
like that was somewhat visible as a three, but otherwise you're pretty much screwed. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we hope you enjoy it. Please feel free to give us uh, uh, some feedback. Yeah, this is Mummy Mask. Um, it just came out. Uh, so yeah, feel free to give us some feedback as we play. If you have any tips about how to play the characters, we're very open to it. We're not worried about that kind of stuff. The only thing we ask is don't spoiler spoil like future events. Uh, we'll get there when we get there. Uh, and so to start, uh, we've got the adventure card for this one. And this adventure card has an effect. Something called the Scourge Die, which we're still about to figure out, is a 1d4. When you are dealt poison damage, if that damage is not reduced by at least one, suffer the Scourge Curse of Poisoning. What is the Curse of Poisoning? The Curse of Poisoning, while displayed, after you reset your hand, recharge a random card for each Curse of Poisoning next to your deck. So when we get Scourges, instead of next to our deck, we're going to display them under character cards like this so that everybody can see who has what Scourges and Curses and all that good fun stuff. Then, for this explicit thing, not the first part of the five adventure, uh, we have all that glitters begets gold. Um, our henchmen are the giant sand eel and the mining constructs. When we defeat a bane that has a construct trait, draw an item from the box. So, free items. I'll take those. Oh. <laughs> oh not really free. free. <laughs> and when we win this, in theory we will, we get two traders called the Falsen Deke and the Haddon Hoppert. So, don't really quite know what they do yet, but I'm sure we'll find out at the end of the mission. Oh, wow. You you haven't played them yet? That you kind of... <sighs> oh. You have it's actually pretty fun. Like, you can even play them solo. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, like, I've got a friend who really loves Pathfinder Adventure card game. He's basically bought it all on iOS. They've oh, got pretty yeah. much the whole thing to be able to be yeah, played. Yeah, they've got apps and stuff for it, too. But yeah. I didn't really like the the way that it played. Like, yeah. it felt like the UI just was fighting me on, like, everything. Yeah, that's how I felt with uh, Elder Signs on iOS. I tried playing Elder Signs. I was so disappointed. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I think we're good to go. Let's do our usual. We do rock, paper, scissors when we play games like this. Decide who goes first. It just makes it easy. So, he did scissors. And Rico's going to go first with paper. <laughs> Alright, so, first up. And draw your, did you draw your hand? Yes, sitting right here. Oh. You should have drawn your hand already, man, because yeah. you need to figure out what your uh, favorite card is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got my favorite card. I have Spell for my favorite. So I'm playing Alahazra, the female human oracle. What do you got? I've got Damio, the male elf alchemist. And I am playing Ezrin, male human wizard. Awesome. And so I'm... So we got the first blessing out, which is Abadar. I know what that does, but uh, flip over my top, please. I would oh. like to explore. Your top card. So whoever's on the side will have read it. Uh, you have Lightning Touch. This is a Arcane or Intelligence 4 to acquire. Arcane, all right, D12. And it'll be your combat check. Plus, plus Your Arcane plus 2D4 if you get it. 12. Oh, fail. Plus 2. Yeah, I think you got Lightning Touch. Sweet. Pretty Congratulations. nice. Congratulations. Keep it up. There you go. Ah, uh, okay. Well, then you've played it a little bit. I mean, in a sense, at least, if you've played with the app. Apparently, I wanted Blessings. I'm going to discard my Klansman. Okay. To explore. Okay, and you get the Blessing of Phrasma. You need Intelligence, Arcane, Divine, 5. And 2. 12. So you're all good. And that's the same one as before. I will bury this to keep exploring. Oh, you have to bury it? Yeah, that's the location. Anytime I play something with a Divine trait, which this does have, I yep. just bury it. Oh, so you had to bury a Blessing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's a blessing you just got, so... Fair. <laughs> Feather of Mott. Uh, Constitution, Knowledge Divine, 5. Knowledge Ooh. Divine? Yeah. Alright, Constitution, 5. D8. No pluses. You got it, Bam. native. And this will recharge to add one card to your Constitution non-combat check. But it's divine. Nope. Object, magic. Oh. Woohoo! Okay. Oh, no, this sucks because I can't explore and I have more cards than I need. <laughs> and the elemental treaty is divine, right? So yeah, yeah, so I end up burying it. Oh, I can put all my cards on screen too. Nice. I can't. 
Uh, you can fill in this space. Right. But it's a lot no harder. way. <laughs> All right, that is my turn. <laughs> okay, so it comes to me. Uh, I'm currently sitting in the Stoneworks Passage. Uh, what's your uh, damage dealt to you is reduced by one. That That's seems nice. that that seems really nice. All right. So what do I get? The whip. The weapon check to acquire strength melee seven. Okay, so that's not happening. <laughs> unless somebody <laughs> really nope. well, wants the whip. No, nope, don't even care. Okay, bye bye whip. Well, you should. You can, oh, you can't. No, I have a D6. I'm, I have no chance of getting it. <laughs> Technically, ought to be returned to the box because remember we can oh, pull the oh back yeah out again. So yeah, Rico's managing the box, so we've got that. Okay. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, so this one's different. So the blessing of the ancients allows me to examine the top card of the location. Then I may explore my location, so I will do so. Yep. Blessing of Phrasma. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Oh, wait. Uh, that's my own discard. No. Oh, I forgot. What's my special again? Um... I can... Okay, that could be good. I sure read my special yeah, why? Uh, on my turn, I may discard a spell and explore my location. <laughs> I can discard a blessing to examine Oops. the top two or three cards of a location deck. Well, two right now. I'd have to upgrade for three. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, I chose Alahazra because some people on Board Game Geek wanted to see if this uh, whole examining location thing would be powerful. So what do I need to get this? All right, uh... Intelligence, Arcane, Divine, 5. Okay, this should be easy for me, which means I'll lose it. I can't say anything I'd like to point out. Nothing. And I lose it. I, <laughs> I roll the 1. This should be easy, he says. All I needed was a 2. <laughs> but it's you. But it's you, man. Yeah. Uh, still shaking, man. Oh, that was a little bit me, sorry. Okay. I jumped up and down in my seat. So we'll try to be careful in that. Um, we have more problems with the shaking with this than uh, Kingdom Death, I think. Yeah, don't know why. Um, well, hopefully eventually we'll move this downstairs. Mm -hmm. Hard floor will solve that. Okay, so now... Um, I see a whole lot of blessings in that deck. Yeah. Wait, did we turn over the blessing? Huh? Oh, uh, we give you control of the blessings deck, already fucking it up. Yep. Rico was like, you okay. know, I can do this, you know, always remind I'll us examine. how you let us, you let us down, man. It's let us down. a filter hood, it's an armor, accessory, light, elite, check to acquire, constitution four, four or int craft survival six. You know, neither of those is really good odds for me. I think I will be doing a constitution check for it. Nope. You suck. Yeah, I do. And I will keep going. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't use the dice tower because it blocks uh, Tony and I's access to the... It blocks okay. retrieval. Well, we have yeah. a monster. Actually, we could do... Oh, no, we can examine it's a monster if you want to explore it. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. That'll work. It's a monster. Uh, what's his difficulty? Eight. Okay. Um, oh, hold on. When you examine this card, which is what you're doing, uh -huh. summon and encounter a monster that has the acid, cold, electricity, fire, or poison trait. Okay. The difficulty to defeat is increased by twice the scenario of enter deck number. Are we technically zero right now? Yeah. Okay, so let me find you a monster. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have the best luck in the world. So that's what they're saying. Some monsters trigger even on examine. Yes. Oh. So. Well, I ain't doing shit to help you. First monster up. Doesn't have that trait. There we go. You have a yellow jelly. Okay, how bad is the yellow jelly? Ah, combat 8. Okay. But hold on. Yeah. <laughs> there might be some jacked up stuff. The yellow jelly is immune to mental, piercing, poison, and slashing traits. 
Okay. If the check to defeat has the acid or cold trait, add three. Okay. It does not have that. Okay. After you act, if the result of the check to defeat is greater than 12, you are dealt 1d4 damage acid. So you want to get between 8 and 12. Actually, I'm not going to care because I'm going to throw Elemental Treaty on the location. While this is displayed, reduce all acid, cold, electricity, fire, and poison damage dealt to characters at this location to 1. And with that location... Buy that, 1. Buy 1. Oh, buy 1 still. So, uh, when it's closed, I can attempt to recharge it. So that just sits next to the location. Okay. So. Now it's an 8, you said? Combat check 8, correct. Okay. I'm going to... Um, it's to mental, piercing, poison, and slash attack. Does the top card of the Blessings deck have the basic trait? No. It's Divine and Ebidar. Damn it! <laughs> Why couldn't it have the basic trait? Um, because it's you. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to play a blessing on myself. So that gives me an extra d10. So I got 2d10. Now remember. I know. I know. Don't roll big. Don't roll big. What does rolling big do to me again? Take damage, 1d4? Yep, 1d4 acid damage. Well, I only have one card left. 14. All right, so you do defeat him. Okay. Roll your 1d4 and subtract 2. 1. All right, so you take your damage because uh, 1 from the elemental treaty and 1 for being at that location. So you said subtract 2. No, I rolled a 3. Subtract 2, I get well, 1. Okay. So I you take you rolled one. 1. So goodbye to that cure card. Yes. All right, now did you want to encounter the gene, geniekin? He's an 8. Can anybody throw a blessing on me? Nope. Nope. Okay, then I am not encountering him. Right. Well, the good thing is, when you explore next time, you won't trigger it, because <laughs> it triggers on an examiner. Oh! That's the point, though, man. Yes, well, or actually, wait, there's no negative to me attacking him. Yes, there is. It well, reshuffles the deck with it. It just reshuffles it back in the deck. So, like, you know, yeah, okay, so there might not be a negative, and that you might get something else. But, but then like, a future examine will... Proc him, so... Yeah. Okay, then I'll, I'll just leave him on top. All right, are you finished? Oh, yes. Yeah, you're resetting your hand, so... Yep. Yeah, but be careful about reshuffling. Yeah, I didn't put any... Shuffle. I know I didn't put anything on the bottom yet, so I wasn't too worried. Okay. Try to make sure they're in view. There we go. Uh, you have Blessing of Nethys. It is divine and it's not basic. Okay. Uh, so please reveal the top of the precious mind. All right, you have a barrier, collapsing scaffolding, obstacle basic. Check okay. to defeat, dex, acrobatics, perception four, then dex, acrobatics, perception seven. If the result of the first check to defeat exceeds the result of the second check to defeat, <laughs> wow, you are dealt 1d4 combat damage, then recharge your hand and end your turn. So if, if you want the specifics. Yeah. Go. So you gotta make two checks, and hopefully your first check doesn't <laughs> exceed your second check. Wow. Wow. That's special. Well, you're a Dexy person, right? <laughs> yeah, I am, but still, okay. Not that Dexy. Okay, and while she does that, as always, uh, please check out. Defense Grid, the board game. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We're launching the Kickstarter in less than two months. That's not good. Well, I defeated the first Jack. She got an eight. Any yeah. pluses? No. The second one is a four, so I failed to do it. And the result of the first check to defeat exceeded the result of the second check, so I'm dealt 1d4 combat damage, I guess? Yes, Yes. Oh, four. 1d4, no minus? Nope. Ouch. And it ends your turn, no? Did it say end turn? Yep. You are dealt 1d4 combat damage, then recharge your hand, and end your turn. Okay. Ow. 
So since we didn't defeat this, does this just go back on the top, or do we have to reshuffle the deck? Uh, no, usually they, the barriers will say, and then put back on top. It doesn't say anything. Yeah, so it goes away. So it just goes, goes, away, goes away? Uh huh. Somebody may correct us. But that's at least how it worked in uh, the first game. Yeah, I don't have shit that's going to prevent this. Life. It is like all of my cards. Yeah, pretty much. Get to choose one card to keep. Yeah. Then you get to reshuffle it. <laughs> <laughs> that's huh? just reshuffle it? You gotta, uh, yeah, you got to recharge your hand. After no, the then recharge your hand. Reset? Oh, recharge your hand. Oh, oh so it goes on the bottom. So the card goes on the bottom of your deck, and then, oh. And then you can't do nothing else. That's some rough shit. Okay, Rico, your turn. Blessing of my jet. Divine my jet. After playing this card, the match will attack. Okay. Can you flip over my location, sir? Yes, you encounter a monster, the Bone Crusher Wizard. Combat check 9 to defeat. Um. You did not examine, so you're fine. Before you act, the Bone Crusher deals one cold damage to you. After you act, the Bone Crusher deals one poison damage to you. Good. Yeah, if you had examined, he would have been three harder. All right. Uh, does he have any cool traits? Uh, he is, nope. He's, uh, Null Wizard Elite. Oh, one. Uh, why do you need the... Well, before I act, he does... Deal one cold damage. Oh, just straight one cold damage. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to play Lightning Touch. For your combat check, discard this card and use your Arcane skill. D12 plus 2D4. Seems pretty good. Okay, you got. I think I may turn it back sideways. Uh, you got nine. Nine. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so I need to. After playing this card, here you go. Arcane six. Okay, just gonna get rid of the dice tower. Eight. All right, so I recharge it instead of discarding it. There you go. All right. I will use my power to discard a spell. Mm -hmm. And then I will explore my location. Okay. You encounter the mini or the henchman. Mining construct. So since this is a construct, there was something that we had to do. If I defeat it, I get an item from the box. Yes. Um, what was the other thing with the D4? That's on scourges. Okay. Uh, the mining construct is immune to mental and poison. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location uh, this henchman came from. If defeated by less than six, you may also draw an item from the box. So, ten. You need to hit a ten on combat. If you hit a fifteen or lower, you get to draw an item. Ten, fifteen? Yep. Alright, no problem. We'll use lightning touch. <laughs> And you get, ooh, five. Wow. That don't work. Yeah, that D12 came up a one. That, that, that's not the best. No. no, it's not. That's a lot of damage. Let's see if we can charge that. Eight. Recharged. Two damage. What about your armor? Does it apply to that? Recharge this card to reduce cold, combat, electricity, poison damage dealt to you by two. This is combat damage. This is combat, so you can recharge that at least so you don't lose the hit point. Yeah. True. Meh. <laughs> Blast still take how much damage? Uh, a lot. Five. Well, minus two, three. Yeah, but you won't lose that card at least. Yeah. Alright, so he gets reshuffled right? since I didn't defeat him. Yep. Ouch. Okay, there's... 
six or yeah, six cards left in this deck if you count him. Ow. We're doing great. Yeah, I'm already half dead. I hope I get an arc here spell. Uh, <laughs> I'm down to six. Plus what you have out. This is true. Yeah, so you're down a third as well, like me. All right. You have also a blessing of one hit. Okay, let's explore. Now we know what it's going to be. Yep. GDK, combat check eight. Oh, before I uh, fight him, I reveal my cure spell, and I choose myself. Oh, I get, uh, is it plus? I get five hit points back. I think I only have five cards over here. Yes. How does this work? They um, get shuffled back into your deck. Oh, shuffled in? Shuffle. Okay. Yeah, and then you need to determine whether or not you can keep the cure. And it recharges, if it does. Yeah. Okay, so now I need Divine. So I'm going to not say what I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> okay, and that worked, so it'll recharge. Okay, so what's his traits? Uh, his traits, uh, trigger, outsider, LML, cannot, veteran. So an outsider, you said? Mm -hmm. What's his difficulty? Eight. <clears throat> yeah, he's dead. Banish the box. Oh, wait, uh, yes, banish the box. And he just loses. Oh, sorry. It's a holy water grenade. Uh, banish to kill something with outsider or undead who's 12 or lower. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, does that blessing have basic? No. Okay, then I'm not going to. Well, actually. Don't you have a blessing or some kind of. Power to let you examine. Uh, da, 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 da. What I'm looking at is I'll just use the blessing of the ancients, and I'll keep going. Uh, so it does an examine followed by. All right, so it's going to be the barrier of the evil eye. When you examine this card, <laughs> suffer a scourge and then banish this card. So you need to roll the d4, sir. Ah, check. That'd be a two. You get a curse of poisoning. Oh, lucky me! That would go underneath my card over there. But while displayed, after you reset your hand, recharge a random card for each curse of poisoning next to you. Awesome. Um. Okay. Um. Just explore. Yeah, pretty much. You I'm going to that. I'm going to discard my uh, spell Fireblade to remove to banish that card, the curse. Uh, that's my character ability. Which oh, I I discard a spell to banish a curse gotcha. on a character at my location. Gotcha. It has to be a character at my location, so that includes me. So I think I'm going to stop here because I'm hoping to get. Uh, blessing of the Ancients on the top of my deck when it comes to me, before using this guy. Okay. You got a Blessing of Ra. Divine, Ra, and Fire. Okay. Uh, if either of you want to come to me, I can cure you next round. Do you want to explore? Or move? <laughs> cat is howling. Uh, yeah, I'll move to your location. Uh, though, th there's that barrier there, right? To my location? Yeah. Oh, planning to get healed? Yeah. Okay. I mean, oh, the I... the barrier got banished. Oh, the barrier got banished? Yeah. he examined it. Oh, and that banishes it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It okay. Puts, it puts down the, uh, the scourge and then just goes away. If he just would have explored yet, you have a chance to defeat it. Yeah. Before it uh, drops down the scourge. <laughs> okay. I will explore the location. Trap. Locker. Barrier. Alright. Check to defeat. Dex disable 9 or strength melee 11. If undefeated, 
Discard the top 1d4 minus 1 cards from your deck. You may banish this barrier. If defeated, draw an armor from the box. If you want specifics. Okay, so dex disable or strength melee. Um, Alright, I will... I will use my Acid Flask, which due to my um, my ability, I, when I would banish a card that has the alchemical trait for its power, I may discard it instead, so I am hmm. discarding it instead of banishing it. <laughs> for my combat check or a check against a barrier, banish this card to use your Disable or Range skill plus 2d6. So my Disable is off of Intelligence, and I get a d10 plus 1, plus an additional 2d6 because of the card. This does not invoke the acid trait, so that doesn't affect the acid class. And that would be... And 12. 12. So I successfully defeated it, and thus I draw an armor from the box. Awesome. If I'm going to get healed next round, yeah. Okay, you'll get healed. Shield of Fire Resistance. Hmm. If you that... played a weapon that is the two-handed trait on this check, you may not play this card. Reveal to reduce combat of fire damage. Oh, nice. If proficient with light armors, you may recharge this card when you lose it. Yeah. Nice. Are you proficient? Yes, I am. Oh, so am I. Though, wow. the only problem is, honestly, I have nothing to actually go through. Oh, with to, that. To like, keep I have exploring? nothing to save myself with if we keep exploring. Ah. You got Fire Shield. <laughs> so what's the uh, layout on this uh, location? Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh shit. So that was one that monster. monster. I accidentally shuffled my deck. The cure's supposed to be on the bottom. I think I'll stop picking that yes, up. Yes, that's exactly what I told <laughs> you. I told you not Cheating. to mess with it. What can I say? Yeah, I'll discard a blessing to explore. I like to fidget. Flame Venom is a spell. Check to acquire Int, Arcane, Wisdom, Divine of Four. Uh, flat Int roll it is. Nope. Okay, two. Yes, that does. Sorry. No problem. What? Just a spell. Oh, it would have been nice, yeah. That's gonna be I think thing. that's the only spell in that location. Uh, I thought there were two. Yeah, I I yeah you get the one I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking my blessing to the ancients. All right, I'm going to explore, sir. Okay. You find the mining construct. Son of a bitch. Uh, immune to mental and poison. If defeated, you may attempt to close. If defeated by less than six, you may also draw an item from the box. So same as before. All right, so I take one cold damage. Yep. Mm. Or wait, why do you take a cold? Because before I move... Before I do anything on him. Maybe. Not on him. This one doesn't. It did last time. Oh, well, this one doesn't. Yeah, he's uh, immune to mental and poison. If defeated, you may immediately... That's it. Yeah. So why did I take the cool damage last time? Because it was a different thing. Yeah, there might be multiples. No, it wasn't a mining construct. It was a different monster. Oh, yeah. It was oh, a that's not a henchman. Oh, yeah. This is the henchman. Last time, That one time, it was a different monster before the henchman. Okay. So this one you can just fight. Ten, what can I use to uh, ten and hopefully less than fifth or fifteen or less. Does he have any immunities? Uh, mental and poison. Oh, it gets buried? Oh, divine? Yep. Fuck. Ooh, combat check of D12 and 2D4. Uh, do you have a blessing currently? Nope. Oh, that sucks. Yep. Uh, yes, that would be 16. So Damn. I'm... <laughs> Damn it! You rolled the 12 this time on your D12. I still get an item, though. Uh, why? Because of that trigger. It's a construct, correct? Right? Oh, yeah! I had a chance to get two items. Oh, that would have been nice. Yep. 
And unfortunately, you cannot close it because you do not have yep. a blessing to bury. That is correct. Crap. So, my random item. Embalming fluid. <laughs> <laughs> That, that seems ominous. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. Reveal this card to add two and a poison trait to your combat check. If hmm. the Bane has the undone trait, ignore its immunities. After the check, succeed at your craft or disable check to bury the top card in your deck. Hmm. Well, I can't... to discard my embalmer to explore. Okay, wait. You had an embalmer and embalming fluid. Hey, say. Blessing of Phrasma. Sweet. So, Intelligence Arcane Divine 5. Yep. You got it. Oh, I got a blessing now. <laughs> yes. I think I'll hold on to that one. <laughs> there uh, are four left. I will trigger... I will sacred discard spell... Or my location. Okay. And you get Augury, Intelligence Arcane Wisdom Divine 6. This allows you to examine the top three cards of your uh, thing. <laughs> Specify a card type and set them aside. You got it. It's a pretty complicated card. Alright, you know what? I will uh, discard it. Explore my location. Oh, it has that option? No, no that's my he... special. Oh. On my turn, I can discard a spell and explore my location. Uh oh. Lightning Storm. Yeah, this, this isn't great. Uh, display this barrier next to your location. Oh. While displayed, when you start your turn at this location, roll a d4. Oh. On a 4, vanish this barrier. On any other result, you are dealt an amount of electricity damage. Display, uh, you are dealt that amount of electricity damage. Then display this barrier next to a random other location. Okay. Hmm. So it moves around. Nice. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of sucks. How many more are in the other deck there? Uh, two. Two more cards. Oh. How many monsters are in that deck location? Uh, oh, just put it over that side. Um, one. So you already got him. So no monsters left. And this was the barrier, so pretty much all good shit. That was explore my location. Okay. And you get a dredge, an ally. Um, Charisma Diplomacy 8. He helps you uh, handle boons. Well, I cannot acquire him. My Charisma is a D6. Um, your Charisma is a D6. He seems pretty good. I think I'm going to give you a Blessing of the Ancients to help. Well, let me see if I got anything. Is it a Wisdom check? And I get to recharge this because we have a Blessing of the Ancients on the top, which is a basic. That makes sense, is yeah. Is animal? What? No. No. He is a Halfling Rogue Aspis. Alright, so... Unless you consider Halfling's animal. I got a D6 and you're giving me another D6? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. And you got 11. You got him. Um, and you can discard him to explore and you get an 1D4 to any checks to acquire items while doing so. <laughs> Remember, I have a D4. Um, and how did we get two henchmen in the deck? What? See, this is why I was confused. Does that have the cold damage on it? No, he does not. There shouldn't have been two henchmen in the deck. No. So there's a deck without a henchman. <laughs> we fucked that one up. I hate that you there's both. A, that or there's a deck with two henchmen. <laughs> well, there was a deck with two henchmen. Yeah. I'd put an extra henchman in when I was Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. No, but you counted. Yeah, I did. There was the five for a mouth. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. So one of them was missing a henchman. So when we get to the bottom of the deck and haven't drawn a henchman, then would be it. We get a henchman. Okay. Might as well. So technically, I can close this location. By well, yeah. So yeah, we'll just say you didn't encounter that. You get to close. Okay. So do I bury it or banish it? Um, bury. Okay. Unfortunately, you will start at this location again unless you have some way of moving. No. Oh, well, that sucks. 
Which means you're going to get zapped by lightning, and then the lightning storm's going to move. That's what rule four, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, he's not you. Yeah. yeah. Can I get my dice back, sir? Oh, yes. Are there any in the tray? Uh, no. Right. I just stick all of yours in the middle here. Right. Okay. We will have... Hey, there we go. Blessing of the Ancients. Yay! That's actually pretty good for me. Okay, so I will start... Or first, I'll cure Nicole. Thank you. So. Three. <clears throat> and now let's see if I recharge this. Yes. <clears throat> I get my recharge. So I still have both my cures in my deck. So I shuffle them into my deck, right? Yes. Thank you. And now you're exploring, correct? That is correct. You got a monster. How bad? Ghost Scorpion. Combat check to defeat nine. Ooh. You did not examine it, so you are fine. <laughs> okay, the check to defeat has the fire trait that is not uh, Oh, that's for when you examine it. Oh, if the check to defeat has the fire trait, what? Add one die. Oh, I get a bonus die? Yep. If you have, like, a fire spell. Yeah, I do. Spell I was going to use fire blade on him. Oh, check of nine. Okay, so I get 2d10. Um, uh, so I get to use my Divine Skill plus 2d4. And the extra Fire Die. So I get 2d10 and 2d4 plus 3. So I can't complain about that. And yeah, that's a... Sh oh, Jesus, I rolled one short of max. Yeah. 27. How'd that happen? That is a dead motherfucker. Um, after playing this card, if you do not have the Divine Skill, banish it. Otherwise, I can try to recharge it. So I will try to recharge it. And I succeed. I only need an 8, but I have Divine Skill is plus 3. So that gave me a 10. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so, um, high chance of barrier. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to use the camel to explore. Um, as a result, if I need, if I do a survival check, I get an added d6. Toxic geyser. Barrier. Check to defeat. Dex, acrobatics, wisdom, survival, five. Woohoo! Okay, this, the difficulty is creep, blah, blah, blah. If undefeated... So, okay, so survival, I get a D8 plus 2, and then I get a D6 from my camel. And what do I need? Five. Yeah, I think I'm... I don't... No, I can still fail. Double ones would. I got them. Do I get anything? No. Aww. This isn't one of those barriers. Yeah, it's one of those things that if you would have took damage, if you didn't defeat it, you would have either took two fire damage, two acid damage, and discard a weapon or armor. That's pretty nasty. And not really, unless you were confined with damage. That's okay. Card. What do I need to close? Uh, wisdom, survival, six. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, oh, wait. We haven't encountered the, co the construct in there yet. Yeah, it may or may not be a construct. We'll find out. I don't think I could handle the construct, so I'm going to hold off. Well, I can't activate my flame staff without a spell. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right, Nicole, you have a blessing of the elements. Okay. If you want to explore. Uh, yes. It is the mining construct. So here, you can see him here. <laughs> So he's the same before, mental and poison, you don't want to use? Okay, um, I am going to reveal my torch, which allows me to use my strength or melee skill plus one. So that's 1d4 plus one. I may additionally discard this card to add another 2d4, which I'm totally going to do. Cause... <laughs> so that would give me 3d4 plus one. That's not bad. Just against a ten? 
Yeah, that's, that's pretty that's fucking pretty bad. bad. Okay, fair. And then I will recharge a Blessing of the Elements to add one die to any check that invokes the acid, cold, electricity, or fire, or poison trait because the torch is made of fire. You know, because, you know, fucking fire. So that gives me 4d4. I only have three. Want to borrow one of mine? Oh. <laughs> you know. Do you want to borrow one of mine? <laughs> are you saying my dice are cursed? Uh, that would be a 9 plus 1, 10. Ooh, which uh, meant you also get the free item twice. She gets yeah. two items. Yes. Alright, you didn't hit my less than 6, but you did. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you grabbed the item, Nice. And you may attempt to immediately close this. Okay, sure. Which is kind of a bit of a problem. You threw away the wrong one. Well, I'm keeping that one just for extra. Okay. So, Wisdom Divine 6. Or no, Wisdom Survival 6. Stick to the little lady. Do you want it, I don't say. What'd you get? Uh, reveal this card to add 1d4 to your perception What's check. What's it called? Coal of Uncanny Discernment. Hmm. And then the other one is an Anubis staff. Wait, did you say to add to your survival? Perception. Oh. Uh, so this is a wisdom survival check, and I need a D and I need a six. Yeah, pretty much. Oh man, you're, you're good. I'll give you an extra D six. Okay. Wait, is that no? Is there a basic trait on that? Basic, correct. Woohoo! I get a recharge. Okay. That's really nice. Uh, no. Not enough. So you won't have to attempt to close. Yeah. Sorry, man. How bad? I missed my two. Wow. That's like my role for me. No, not really. I mean, I only had a 50-50 chance, really. If <laughs> like, literally 50-50. I get a blessing of the elements. All right, so I got to roll a d4, right? Yep. Yep. I need a four. Yep. I get a four. You got a four? Bam! Sweet. You got rid of uh, the lightning storm. No bad effects? Uh, on a four, banish this barrier. Oh, wait, uh, when you start your turn at the location, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you roll a bit better than I do. And that's a wisdom survival check, which uh, I ain't got. Uh, oh, oh, I've got that covered. I've got survival native. All right, uh, let me see what else here. What kind of thing are you looking for? Spells or items. There's one spell and one item in the volcanic vents. What's the best? Uh, monsters you encounter are immune to poison trait uh, stuff, and each character at this location is dealt one fire damage to close. Oh, to close? Yeah. Yeah, should be over there. Okay. And you find the henchman, the giant sand heel. Combat 11. Uh, it would be increased by the scenario's deck number, which it isn't. Twice the scenario's deck number. If undefeated, shuffle this card into a random open location deck and discard a card. Okay, is it an animal? If defeated... Yes. Yes, if defeated, shuffle this card into a random other open location deck and you may immediately attempt to close this location this henchman came from. That sucks. Oh yeah, that really sucks. Alright, so it is an animal, right? Yes. Alright, I am going to recharge my porcupine and add 1d8 to your check against the bane that has the animal trait. Yep. Yes. yes. Alright, so I will recharge my porcupine. Nice. For my combat check, I will reveal my torch. <laughs> which will give me my melee skill. Which is. And this torch really sucks. Yeah. Yeah. D4 plus one. Yep. Alright, so I got D8. D4. What's this number? 11. Oh, so Um, I'm going to recharge a Blessing of the Ancients to give you a die. I like this recharge my blessings. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little it has, bit. Uh, it have acid, cold, electricity, fire, or poison trait. No, it's just animal veteran. No, but you, it's your not. torch invokes. No. If it has Bane itself, has acid, cold, okay. electricity, uh, fire, or poison, I can ignore its immunities. Okay. So the Embalming Fluid. It's immune to poison, right? Uh, that's only because location, yes. Yeah, but it will add to damage. 
even immune to poison? Yep. I don't it think says, he reveal this card to add two and the poison trait to your combat check. No, no then it's adding. Then point. it would make it immune to all of your damage. Yeah. Okay. We'll discard this card. Give yourself another. Oh wait, no, you don't discard that card. Read the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah. Right, can I play one more thing at a time? Right? Yeah. All right. So three D four and a D eight. No problem. And you need eleven. Do you have any pluses? Plus one. Okay, so we got good enough. Two or four, eight, and twelve. So barely got it. So uh, shuffle this card into a random open other location. So there's three other open ones. Roll d6 for me. Two. Oh, right. Only two other open ones. Roll d4. One, two, three, four. But wait, that's also open. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so roll d6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, doesn't this usually go with the, the way that the, the villain goes? So no, that adds the blessings and then... No, this doesn't say that. This just says into a random other open location deck. Oh, it's a henchman, not a villain. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Four. So it goes into this deck. Yay. And I can immediately attempt to close. Yes. Uh, yes, I believe so. What's my duty I need to do? Uh, take a fire damage. Yeah. No, no. All I gotta do is take a damage. Yeah. And I close it. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, we're being hosted. Oh, we are. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Commanding com Commentary. Very appreciated. Well, you know what? I will, uh... We'd love to know why you chose to host us if you happen to be around. We always love to hear. Embalming fluid. And I close that location. Okay. Woo so we just reshuffled this one. Look, I'm getting work done here. I just closed two locations. When permanently closed, no effect. Okay. Just two locations? Oh, uh, yeah, he closed that one. We forgot to flip one. it. You guys are slacking off here. Okay, so what did we miss? We missed a Blessing of Phrasma, a Dry Quicksand, Immolate, Bone Crusher, Hyena Master, Staff of Focus, Crocodile Skin Madu, Bone Crusher Hunter, Blade Guard, Bone Crusher Hindmaster. So lots of monsters. Hyena Master. Hyena Master. Hindmaster. 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 Hmm. That's problematic. Okay. And going to tell you, you have Blessing of Rod. It's not basic. Well, doesn't matter. I'm just going to try to close this. It's a... I need a six on survival, right? Uh, survival or wisdom. Okay, I'm going... Oh, it's not a basic? Shit. Oops. Okay, I'm going to discard my Blessing of the Ancients, just to be safe. That gives me 2d8. Uh, and I get plus 2 on this. Oh yeah, I did that with ease. I rolled an 8 and a 7. <laughs> so, that was a little bit of a wasted discard, but I'll take it. So, any on a closing effect? I will check. We have, on closing, you may examine the top card of any location deck. Now, I note that's an examine, which... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we saw how that worked for you. Yeah. Oh, and upon closing, this goes away. Um, so, my that. elemental treaty, but I have a chance of uh, recharging. That doesn't seem like it was designed to have multiple people in the game that can use that card. Because you know... And I did not recharge it. I rolled a 1. Plus 3. 4. So, that gets discarded. Damn it. So what do, don't you think was designed? The Elemental Treaty is a badly designed card, in my opinion, because he also has an Elemental Treaty. Oh. Like, how are you supposed to remember which person put the Elemental Treaty next to the... I think it's easy to remember. You're not going to put out many. Uh... Unless we start stacking them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we can stack them. It, there would be no reason why. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to examine... Which one do you guys think I should examine? Go ahead and look at the mine. The mine? Okay. It's going to be a whip. Okay. Yeah. And, well, that's my... Oh, wait. Uh... Uh... Okay, that's my turn. All right, you're resetting your hand. You got a blessing of Basset. Divine Basset and Gamble. Uh, with tricks. Okay. Oh, so... I can cure people, by the way. Where are you going? Oh, wait, you can, um... Do you need a cure, Chief? 
Yeah, I do. Do you need a cure, Nicole? Uh, I mean, I could use one, but I wouldn't... I oh, we're about, I could use it more than you. Okay. Yeah. So I'll cure the two of us. Oh, wherever you end up, I'll cure the two of us. Alright. So just don't take much damage. I still got six. I can sell like eight, technically. Though I thought if you can't draw up to your full hand size, you die. Yes. So, don't lose more than two cards. <laughs> you go get the whip. And stop. What? He, uh, he'll go get the whip and stop. So, where are you going, little lady? Not for the whip. Going to the quarry or the precious mine? I can't do shit, though. Like... Yes, you can. You can always do basic. I have no attacks. Yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah, go somewhere. Or you can chill here. We still have actually a pretty big deck for blessings. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. Come chill out with us. I guess I'll go to the other one. To the quarry? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, add three to your check that has bludgeoning trait. Nope. Uh, so to close, you have to see these at Constitution Fortitude 6. On closing, discard a weapon. Okay. If you have one. Yep. Okay, checking it out? Yep. Good. Fire, Hydra, Monster, Aberration, Fire, Basic, Check to Defeat, Combat 7. Before you act, each character at your location must succeed at a Dex or Acrobatic Check of 8. Or be dealt 1d4 minus 1 Fire Damage. I hate you. Yeah, I can understand if that. If the Check to Defeat does not have Acid, Cold, Electricity, Fire, or Poison, the Fire Hydra is undefeated. Okay, so, so torch. what was the, uh, I, I, did you not hear me when I said I didn't have shit? <laughs> Is that there? Yeah. Uh, seven, but if you don't have What's any... What's the first part Dex of it? Acrobatics. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Dex or acrobatics eight. And then I take 1d3 fire damage if I don't. Okay, I can do this. Okay, before you act, you must succeed at a dexterity or acrobatics eight. I did not succeed at it, but um, I can reveal the recharge this card to the armored kilt. Recharge this card to reduce acid, cold, combat, or fire damage dealt to you by half round up. So that would reduce, we'll figure out how much it is, but it should reduce the damage, whatever it is. Well, I don't even know whether or not. So three. So, three minus one. Three minus one, so two. So, it would recharge, but I am proficient with light armors and the damage was dealt to me before I act acted, so I may reveal it instead of recharging. Oh, so, nice. So, I take damage. one damage. Uh, and goodbye, Anubis staff. All right, so now I have to use my strength check. It only has a seven. Do you have acid, cold, or electricity, fire, or poison by chance? Uh, I may recharge a card that has the alchemical trait to add one d four and the acid or poison shit. Woohoo! Me. Sweet. That's nice. Yeah, but it doesn't put fire on it. Uh, yes. The the disc Charles. The discard of weapon is after it's closed. It forces you to discard a weapon. So yeah, we can still close in that scenario. But I still. Need Still might as well try. <laughs> yeah, because we're determining damage anyway. Is right. that a basic blessing out there? No. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, so you know what? I got a, got a blessing. Go ahead and give me. And I'm about to heal you. Yeah. Recharge. Though, yeah, just. Because as long as you're putting a trait wait, under. Wait, you are all the way over here, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Or wait. But I go before you. Oh, yeah, so you're going to move there. Yeah, and then I'll join you there. And because I did that, I have. It add the it added the acid trait to this, which is what you which need to defeat him. Okay. To actually defeat him. I can also recharge a blessing to add recharge a blessing of the elements to add one die to any check that invokes the acid, cold, electricity, fire, or poison trait. I really like this recharging blessings. 
And then I will be Rico's gonna give you a blessing. And she's now being picky which of my dice to take. I'm always picky about which dice. Ooh, that would be ten. Oh, nice. So that's enough to defeat him. And yep. my die gave her four. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. So it actually is pretty... All right, so... I stop him? Yeah, I'm stopping. Okay. Rico. Blessing of the elements. That's a basic, right? Okay, yep. I will explore and then check in strength melee seven. Yeah, that's not happening. Do you want a, uh, do we want to try to get the whip? Were you looking? I don't care. Okay. Then let's pass. I don't think whip is ranged. No, it's a uh, strength or melee skill. Yeah, my dice are very cursed. Yeah. So but except for when she rolls them, apparently. The whip goes away. I stop. I have to reset my hand. Oh, wait, wait, Charles. We got our big dice for Kingdom Death. Oh, wait, and I didn't put them in view, did I? Yeah, I did. Yes, you did. I was looking at her strength. <laughs> Wrong piece. Okay. Wrong monitor. I'm doing great. My turn? Okay. Ooh. Basic. You're shifting over to the mine. Yep. And what do I have to worry about here? Um, if a bane you encounter has a construct, its difficulty is increased by 1d6. And then I need strength melee to close. That's going to suck. On closing, I get an item. So you, you'd actually get three items then if you close and kill the construct. Within the range. Yeah. yeah. But it's he's... complicated. Okay. But remember that construct, if it is a construct goes up 1d6. Yeah. So, I'm going to start by curing Rico. Uh, first... Wow, you've got two cures. Yes. You get three. And now I'm going to try to recharge it. And I succeed. Thank God for that plus three. Oh, that goes on here. Now I'm going to try curing myself. I get four. Now I'm going to try recharging that. And I succeed. Uh, wait, this would go on the bottom after I cure the four. Yes. That's an important order of operations. Because <laughs> then it doesn't get shuffled in. Mm -hmm. Correct. But the other one did. Yes. And I didn't get my camel back. Okay, and then I will explore. Spell, clinging venom. That sounds nice. Check to acquire int, arcane, wisdom, or divine four. Ooh, so. No, we've never verified that our, des our dice have balance, proper yeah. balance. Except for those dice that I got on Kickstarter and never got. Aww. Still it's irritates okay. me. I bought some really expensive just, metal just dice. Let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go. And, yeah, that's easy. Any way to keep going, sir? One of my neighbors got really nice dice. Probably uh, the way. What? Yeah. Probably the most of this shit. Yeah, yeah. Freaking four hundred dollar set of dice, throw them away. Um, this goes this right in my hand, right? Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, this man. is pretty nice. Yeah, pretty much. Is that a basic? Yes. I will recharge my blessing of the ancients to keep going. <clears throat> Crowbar. Did you want to encounter it? Yeah, might as well. Dex three, strength three. Dex or strength? No, not strength. Well, that's better for me than Dex. It's a crowbar. I have a D4 for Dex. I always love the fact that you have to make I get these it. checks. Like, what? Is the crowbar, like, you know, wedged? In, like, <laughs> you know, it's just like, the crowbar is, like, no, no, sitting no. there outside a door. Well, you don't get, is my wizard is about, like, me in real life? I can't pick it up! <laughs> it's no, too heavy. You, you can pick it up. You just won't see it. And you were shaking the shit out oh, of Oh, sorry. Yeah, metal D6s, that's what I had back. They're perfectly balanced metal D6s. Everything from brass to Damascus steel. It was awesome. Um, I told you. Yeah, yeah, I won't let it, let it go. Had to bring it up. Um, Who brought it up? He did. I blame him. Um, um, all oh, I did was talk about dice. You brought that up yourself. Yeah, okay, I'm going to recharge my Fomit Clansman uh, to continue exploring. I can do that because it is a... A blessing of the ancients on the top. Camouflage pit trap. Oh you shit! You got a spot check. Did you want to encounter it? Uh, no. 
uh, for this, I have, I have to. Oh, wow. all right. Well, let's see here. <laughs> Check to defeat. Wisdom or perception of six or <laughs> dex acrobatic seven. Uh, yeah, I think I'm doing wisdom. If undefeated. Each character at your location is dealt 1d4 combat damage. Then end your turn. Lol. If defeated, you may explore your location. Well, that shit sucks. That shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think my character just took a shit. <laughs> okay, so it's, uh, I need a 6. On wisdom or perception. I got a d8. Or a dex acrobatics of 7. I have a d4 for that. So I guess you're going with a d8. Yes, and it's wisdom. Okay, so it's just raw d8, no survival. Oh, uh, anybody can give me an extra die? Nope. Shit. You're wanting me, me to roll big? You did last time. Yeah, I blew all my luck. Yeah, yeah I rolled. Did. Yeah, I rolled a one. <laughs> roll us a d4, sir. Do I have to roll independent d4 for each person? Sure. I thought we usually just did one roll out right at the age of us. That's what I thought too. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, just Is it plus or minus anything? Nope, just 1d4 combat damage. Wow. Four. So I just dealt four damage to each of us, right? Yep. Is it what kind of damage? Just combat damage. Woohoo! Recharge this card and reduce it by two. Roll separately for each. Oh, so I took four. Roll over for me. I took two then. I will dump my flame staff and crowbar. Two for you. Yeah, yeah, it is. I can sympathize. I only ended up with two. <laughs> no, I like get the torch in my thing and I'm like, fuck this noise. Like, who wants this shit? And since you did not defeat it, your turn ends. Um, I think Is it banished as well? Uh, no, no, it doesn't say banish it. If it's not banished, then I think it's shuffled back into the deck. Son of a bitch. Oh. oh, I got my cure back. Would you like another one next round? Yeah, I got four. Ooh. Oh, and you already are down from. Oh. Yeah, that's why that combat. Shuffle it back in. That combat damage was not good. No, no, that's not good at all for you. You could die. Yeah. Wait, so you can only spend one card? No, you can spend two. You've got three, four out. Yeah, four. You can just go to a closed location yeah. and sit your pretty ass down. Might not be a bad idea. All right, your blessing is elements, basic. Okay, uh, I will investigate my location. Kopech, Strength Melee 7, to acquire. Hmm. Strength Melee 7? It's a sword melee slashing basic. That shit ain't happening. You yep. some crossbow hoops, don't you? Yeah, so uh, it cannot happen. Do you want to try it? Get, go for it, I can give you a free blessing. Of I'm not really effective in melee anyways. Okay. I don't think any of us really care that much. <laughs> um, Wait for you to continue. Theoretically, like how how bad are we doing right now? Not too bad. Well, well, we're about halfway through the deck, and two locations are closed. And he's not searching next round. And we know we've got at or, least three henchmen still. Yeah. Because that sand eel got put into one of those decks. The one we're in, me and you are in. Sweet. So there's that construct and sand eel, or the villain and sand eel. And a construct. Be a construct. Oh right, yeah. But her location doesn't have the sand eel. Well, it may have another one. I don't know. Might if have. No, there's only eight. So okay. Is there anything special about this location? Uh, a three to your check that has the bludgeoning trait. Mm -hmm. And on closing, discard a weapon. Yeah, Rico's always a little bit quieter, even in our in our uh, pandemic videos. We're trying to get him to speak up a bit more. Yeah, I'm too old to start doing all that. But so <laughs> does it have barriers in the... Location? One barrier. Oh. Two mon oh, three monsters, two weapons, an armor, an ally, and an item. So we already got rid of one weapon. 
shit, I can't of... kill I can't kill constructs. Oh. And you did get rid of one monster, so there's two monsters left. The henchman, or a villain, and the other junk. We haven't ran into the barrier yet. I literally can't kill the constructs using my, my equipment. Uh, what we're going to be trying, Charles, is uh, we got a second one of our mics. I'm going to be testing out uh, tomorrow morning to see if I can have both of them hooked up and sync the audio so we can get a mic closer to them. Because we tried just putting it by him, and then it gets too far from us. Uh, we're also looking at if we ever get a good amount of money, we're going to get lapel mics. Oh, yeah. Individual mics would be nice. Indipe individual lapel mics with directional mics so that they don't pick up each other's audio. Okay, I will discard a data to explore. Oh, you're going for broke. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Twin Serpent Quarterstaff. It is bludgeoning, so you get to add three to your check. Strength Melee Arcane Nine. Uh, no, no, no. The add three to your to your check that has the bludgeoning trait. So if uh, her check uh, has the bludgeoning gotcha. trait. Yeah, so I... Arcane Nine? I can't Arcane Nine it. Or Strength, Baylor? No. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, no. Uh, I got Disabling Craft. I don't have Arcane. Ooh, and her Strength Melee is Craft, too. Yeah. Poorly on our characters. Yeah! <coughs> okay. Did you want to continue? Nope. I will recharge this card, which is my Shield of Fire Resistance. If profession with light armors, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. Hmm. And I will draw two more cards. Blessing of Wajet. I can take two damage, right? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Bone Crusher Wizard. Uh oh. All right, I think I'd examine this card. So okay. That's good. Yes, that sounds good. Well, it's not good. Is the Bone Crusher Wizard deals one cold damage to me? Yeah, that's not good. I will recharge that this. That's to good. Reduce cold damage by one. So you didn't really lose a card. All right. Combat nine. No Wizard Elite. One afterwards? Yeah, one poison afterwards. Oh, crap. What a so you can only spend one card. Which I don't really need my lightning. There is four cards in your draw deck, right? There's five now, because I've okay. charged that one dude again. I thought there was only three before. No, there was four. And okay. I just recharged a card. So uh, you, you just put the third card in the deck is supposed to be the top one. Which one's supposed no, to be yeah. The yeah. Yeah, two down. Yeah, that should be on top. Yes. D12 and 2D4. And I'm going to dump a Blessing of the Ancients to help you. So another card. Die. May die, right? Yeah. Uh, no problem. Oh yeah, 21 plus 6 more. 27. What's that for? Let's see if I recharge it. I do not. Are you screwed? Well, no, you don't have to get rid of the second. Oh, because you used the one. I used the spell. No, no, he's fine. He's got five yep. cards. Okay. I made that five. <laughs> Whew. Ouch. I'm done. Really? I couldn't tell. Four. Is that a basic? No. Okay. Nope. Okay. I'm going to start by curing you. Go big. That's not big. No. That's like the opposite of big. You got two. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Now we'll try to recharge that. And recharge it, at least. Okay. I will uh, display an elemental treaty next to our location. Who can do that before? <laughs> I just I don't threw think it. he could. I couldn't. And now I'm going to search the location. Oh, Crusher Master, it's the villain. Oh, oh. Shit. Combat check, 11. Okay, Ooh, so... Here we go. Powers. When you are dealt damage by the Bone Crusher, first choose items to discard as your damage if you have any. Nope. All right, so... Noel Rogue, check to defeat is 11. 
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is decide whether or not we're going to try to temp close my location. Hell yes. What is the location? Constitution number? fortitude check with a uh, difficulty of six. Okay, I got a D8. Okay, you will add another one to it. Okay. Bam. Temp, temp close. closed. Okay, now we've got to fight this fucker. Okay, so... Um, for your combat check, discard this card to use your arcane or divine skill plus a d8. Uh, if the bane is a monster, you may use the result for additional combat checks to defeat it. I don't get that part. If the bane is a monster, you may use the result for any combat. Oh, basically, oh, for if follow you up. have to follow up, if it is it's a monster this and then this. type, then okay. yeah. Um, after playing this card... If you do not have the Arcane or Divine skill, banish it, otherwise I can recharge it. I'm also going to throw a Defense of Ancients. That's not... Oh, no. Oh, wait, that won't kill you. Okay. Okay, so I get an extra D... We're hoping to win right now. Yeah. I get an extra D10 from mine, an extra D10 from Rico. So I got 3D10 and a D8. Yeah, I don't... I give you stuff, but I can't give you shit. So. And... I will try to recharge this. Well, oh yeah, I don't need first. to. Oh yeah. Bam. Yeah, that would be 21. So I have defeated the Bone Crusher Master. He is gone. He is and not a... We, we still can automatically close. It, no, when you kill a... Uh, yeah, you no, don't when, make you, sure kill, when no you kill more. the villain, I'm fairly oh, sure they it might just... Change. Yeah, we just let's... Close it. You do not need to fulfill the wing closing requirement. Search the location deck for additional villains. If you don't find any, banish all the cards. The location is permanently closed. I'm just saying, that's the location we needed him in. Because we weren't passing that strength melee well, no, check. There's no other villains. We yep. Know. So nope. If the villain has nowhere to escape to, you win. So I just want to see. Was there a... Okay, this was the deck missing the construct. The one I was on? Yeah. Yeah, there's some nice gear that we missed. This is your tree. Yep. Thank you. So, what do we get for completing this? We get the two traders. We get Falsen, Deke, and Haddon Hoppert. Do we have a felt pen? Uh, no, you have your sheet. No. Well, the traders have Oh! No, we do not have a felt pen easily accessible. Uh, well, this is top two. Falsen, Deke, and Haddon Hoppert. Yep. Yes, yeah, the top two. Okay. So we just get them? Yes. Okay. So... What do those do for us? Uh, we can go trade stuff, I think. Yeah, you can basically spend two boons to uh, create, like, a trader, uh, to go get some trader stuff. Hmm. Um, so after the scenario... So... Sorting out my cards. If you won the scenario, after gaining rewards, each character may visit a trader. Most traders list a type of card that they offer and a trade cost. Characters can pay the trade cost to get a card offered by the trader. Each character may visit one trader that has been checked off on the bazaar card. Multiple characters may visit the same trader. Uh, Okay, so we can't trade boons before we go to the trader. Okay. Uh, can you check your items and make sure you didn't pick one because they got mixed in on the other ones? Uh, okay, the Anubis staff was supposed to be a one. A one? Oh! Yeah, they got mixed in when you were picking. So, pick another one. Uh, key of the second vault. It's not a one, is it? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's a C, which was, it came from the character deck. Okay, I need to get rid of a spell, it looks like. Yes. Uh, you have arcane, right, Chief? Yep. You might want this. Yeah. Because my fire blades are stronger, and I'd rather also keep the cures in Elemental Treaty. Uh, 
I think I... No, I get two items. I got rid of one. Okay. So that's the only spare card I have right now. Oh, let's see. Augury? Uh... Cards of chosen type. Wait. Uh, choose a type of card. Examine the top three. If any of them are chosen, set them aside. Return the main cards to the deck. Shuffle it. And put the cards you set aside together on top in any order. On top or bottom. Oh, okay. You can trade with the trader after we've traded boons. So we don't have to use our own boons technically to, to go to the trader. Ah. Okay. So what we need to do is expose the two traders. Um... So we need the two traders that we have because that has their details on them. I think I'm going to keep Augury in place of Elemental Treaty. Okay. Okay, now, for each trader, draw a number of random cards from the box equal to one plus the number of characters visiting that trader. Okay, so we all have to choose which trader we're going to. Yes. Okay, can we tell what kind of items they will have available? Yes, this one is items and this one is spells. I would like to personally go for items. But... I will go to False and Deke, who offers items. Okay. I too will go to whatever I can use. Okay, so we draw how many cards? Four random cards from the box because it's equal to one plus the number of characters visiting that trader okay. and all of us are visiting him. Uh, I want to get rid of the ones real quick. Yeah, no problem. Or here, hand it to me if you're still going through your deck. I'll start exit, excluding them because I'm done. Um, There's four blessings stuff if you want. Oh, any special ones? No, for Ed. Uh, what does that one do again? Something with pages. That's weird. To trade with the trader, the trade character must play the trade cost by putting the appropriate number and type of cards from her cards into the box. These cards must have an adventure deck number no less than one my, one less than the scenario's adventure deck number. So maybe we can't do anything? No, we can. It's no less than one. Less. I read something on the okay. fact that we were looking at. Mm -hmm. It said something about the triggers and um, scenario B. Okay. So it's no you're less than one less. You're supposed to do a minimum. You can okay. Get what you, so you can get the basic crap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's basically what that means is if we end up in scenario two, you can't use basics. Okay. Um, that's what that means. And scenario three, you can't use ones and basics. And scenario four, you can't use twos, ones, and basics. Okay. Uh, there's an asset deck too, so. So we get four items? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Ugh. So we've got two blessing for asthmas. I don't know if those interest no, you. No, hold on. With They're the for spells. For, for the oh. trader. Yeah. Do I have to go to my minimum de my my deck size before we go to one, or can we use the extra shit? We're getting like you guys are getting way ahead of this. Uh, um. Yeah. What are we supposed to do first? Minimum deck size. After gaining rewards, each character may visit a trader. We choose who we go to. For each trader, draw a number of random cards from the box equal to one plus the number of characters. Um, display these cards on the trader. Next, all characters may trade boons among themselves, then each may trade with the trader. Um, okay. Three, four. Here's the remaining items. Can I use Blessing of Phrasma on a Cure? Uh, is it the same spell? Uh, yeah, Cure okay. spell. Discard to add two dice to that check. It's not a check. Oh, it's not a check? Uh, no. Okay. That's not. The Cure, I don't think, is a check. Uh. Uh, it's just 1d4 to do it. Okay, between games. I'll take one Blessing of Phrasma. Is it divine? Blessing of Phrasma? Yeah. You don't want divines? I can't. Oh. 
I'll take I'll take both. It does restrict my keeping my blessing of ancients, but having the extra combat damage could be really nice with my fire blade. If you cannot meet the requirements of your deck, then you can choose cards to fill out the rest of your requirements, but they must have the basic trait. Okay, so I can't have the basic blessing. Yes. yes. So when do we go to minimum? That's a that's a big question. What do you mean go to minimum? Because we've got all these extra boons right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When do we technically see the traitor? Before we get rid of our shit? Yes. Before we yes. get rid okay. of our shit. That's what I needed to do now. Yeah. Yes. So, we have available at the traitor, Noxious Bomb. Uh, it is a alchemical item. For your combat check, banish this card to use your dex or range skill, plus 2d6. Uh, yeah. You may additionally discard another card to add your craft skill. You may succeed at a craft nine check to recharge this card instead of discarding it. But your character I, can just do it. Uh, yeah, but the thing is is that I also, like, I actually have a noxious bomb. Okay. And some other stuff, so it's, uh... Okay, another flash freeze, which okay. you already have. A holy water grenade. That's the one that I did. That and just it's not alchemical, so I can't recharge it. And the last thing we have is a wings of horse, which also has a trigger keyword, plus object, magic, and horse. Uh, when you examine, it's an item, when you examine this card, you may reveal a blessing that has a horse trait to require, to acquire this card. I don't have any of those. Um, yeah. Oh wait, that's when you examine. Never mind. Recharge this card to add one die to your dex non-combat check. Recharge this card to add one die to your check against the bane that invokes electricity trait. Oh shit. This armor is wait, a one. Recharge this card to add an electricity trait to your check. Armor got mixed too? Yeah. Yeah, they all got mixed when we pulled the randoms. Okay. Uh, so I don't think we want any of these items? No. Uh, oh yeah, because you might need an item. Just uh, pick a random one over there. Though, so, might be better than my fucking crowbar one of those. Yeah, if, are any of these, are any of the ones, uh, not basic? What do you mean? Any, no, all the ones are from Scenario 1. There is a keyword on it that says basic or, like, it either has the basic keyword or not. Basic are things that you can create, that you can just get from the box uh, at any time. Not basic are interesting because you can't have used them in your original deck. Ah, uh, that's probably Wings of Horse. Yeah. Tessa's still cut, so I guess I won't get yeah, it. Get oh, that's not a blessing. Uh-huh. Because this counts as an item for me. But it's not a boon. Yes, you, it is. Blessing is boon, my friend. Yes, it is. Oh, it is? All of our stuff All is All our boons. shit is boons. Uh, blessings are blessings. They're not an item. They're for me, they count as an item. Oh, they do? So oh, that's where I, I can't have blessings in his deck. Oh, that's where I got confused. Okay. So it's one for one trade. Uh, two for one. So see, that's why I don't. Yeah. But you can trade boons with other players before this happens. So go ahead and trade stuff. Well, no, it can be any boons out of here. I thought as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Of course. So we dumped the elemental, elemental yeah. treaty. We got all this. That's why I was saying, when do we have to see the traitor? Yeah. When we're back down to our minimum deck side, when we got this plethora of shit. Next, all traders we got this may plethora. trade okay. boons among themselves, and then each may trade with the trader. So yeah, just dump any two cards, basically. Because none of us want any of this, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, that's an ally? That's an ally. Um... No, I don't want him. And you don't want that ever? He's a homer. He's a fucking trade. Can I see the other items in the for the guy trading? Yeah. yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I was looking for Nicole. I wasn't looking for me. I'm really good at that. These might be. Uh, these are other items, but these are from my deck. Neither of them were basic, so. Oh. So you've got a couple that yeah. might be worth it. Yeah. That I might trade for instead. You don't need to trade for them. Well, you could just put trade them with in. you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I 
Yeah, I think I'm going to take that key of second vault instead of my crowbar. Yeah. Um. And. Yeah. We don't have any weapons that got exposed, right? Nope. Sadly, no. So I'm stuck with this stupid fucking torch. So am I. Here's two more uh, cards, Hamley, for the, uh, that we had extra. Okay, so I'm done with my deck. So you guys are all done with all this. Shit. Yep. Yeah. Right. Oh. Ouch. That's not an item, but it's a uh, armor. Traders. Oh, you need the traders back? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, this ran an hour and a half. We were only planning for about two hours tonight. Uh, we have something to take care of at nine, so... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong camera. Yes, uh, so we've got something to take care of tonight, so I think we're going to call it a night for this, but we will back, be back tomorrow after Kingdom Death Monster, and that will be our regular time for doing this game. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we hope to see you again in the future. Thank you very much. Bye.